Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to transform a mirror that you might already have into a really pretty vanity mirror. So something that I've been really wanting for a while was a really nice vanity mirror to do my makeup. I personally work night shifts, so when I'm doing my makeup or even when I'm filming these videos, it's very, very dark outside. Right now it's almost midnight. So when I would normally do my makeup, I would have very odd lighting and my makeup would just definitely be off. It would look okay in this mirror, but when I go outside and step into natural lighting or get in some other other sort of lighting or get to work I would realize oh my god my makeup looks really bad so at first I was really tempted to purchase one of those really expensive mirrors so I remember one day I was on one of these websites I had a mirror for like $200 in my cart and I was about to check out and I was like this is fucking crazy I'm not spending this much on a mirror so I really wanted to find the most affordable option to either transform something that I have or find something for a cheaper price and just kind of glam it up a little bit so I found this mirror on offer up for like $20 and I went online on Amazon to search for vanity mirrors. Now prior to making this video I probably went through about three or so different lights and none of them really worked out. They were either too yellow, too blue, or they just weren't bright enough at all. So I finally found the perfect pair of lights for this mirror and I'm really excited to share with you all today just a quick easy and affordable DIY to transform any mirror that you might already have. Thankfully I got lucky and found a really cheap mirror but there are definitely really affordable options out there whether Craigslist, OfferUp, or even searching through your local TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods those kinds of stores. I'm sure you can even find some nice mirrors at Walmart or Target. You don't really need to spend that much money on a mirror. So this is just a quick little video. I hope you all enjoy it. I do plan on filming a vanity tour in the near future. I just have to kind of rearrange things around my room. This is just a quick and fun DIY. Very affordable. I think overall I spent less than $50 on everything, which is really, really awesome. You'll notice in the video, by the way, some of the outline on my mirror, there's like some sticky stuff. That was just the glue, I guess you could say, from the other lights that I had tried out. If I would had to probably go out and buy some goo gone but I really didn't feel like doing that so <laughs> my mirror is a little bit dirty still so but yeah that's it for today's video guys I really hope you enjoy it so if you're interested in any more videos from me please sure, be sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up it really does help my channel and yeah I'll see you in the next video bye guys so this is just a quick overview of what the mirror looks like before it's just something that I found on offer up for $20 it's really nice and really big so the first thing that I did obviously was take everything out of the packaging and you're going to want to first, before you start sticking everything all over your mirror, you're going to want to place the light bulbs where you think that they will work the best. Now me personally, I like to space things out very evenly. So how I did this was I took the sticker off the back of the first light bulb and I placed it in the bottom corner because I knew that that was my starting point. Then I just took all the extra twist ties off to loosen up the strings between the light bulbs. Then your second step is going to be place the very last light bulb at the end of the string. Now for me, I knew that I would be having some items at the bottom of my mirror that would block the light bulbs. So for me, that last bulb would go in the bottom right corner of my mirror. Now this is the part where planning ahead definitely is imperative because once you stick these light bulbs onto the mirror, there is pretty much no getting them off. It's such a pain in the butt to get them off. So please don't do what I did the first time. Just make sure you map out the lights first where you want them. What I would recommend doing is taking like a small piece of scotch tape and just taping them along uh, the mirror edges. It's going to be a little bit sloppy but it'll be worth it in the end. So I knew that I wanted four light bulbs at each corner of the mirror and then I wanted the other two lights in the middle. Also quick note I would really suggest placing the bulbs on the actual mirror part itself because as I said the glue on these stickers are extremely strong so if you do decide to take them off for whatever reason you don't want to mess up the framing of your mirror. So then to connect them I just attached this um, end piece that you saw in the beginning of the video. This detaches <clears throat> and I strung the power cord through this little hole that I have here on my desk meant for like the laptop cords and I plugged it in at the bottom there so that there's not a ton of cords just hanging around everywhere. One thing that's cool about these lights if I hold the power button these lights actually dim if you can tell so that's them dim and then I'm gonna hold on to the power button again and it makes them a lot brighter so these are the lights brighter so then I just took some scotch tape and I taped the strings to the edges of the mirror so that everything looks nice and clean. By the way, this mirror is just leaned up on top of this desk that I found on Amazon. It's not actually attached to the desk itself. So this is just what everything looks like with the mirror lit up and that entire intro video was actually filmed with just these lights. So it gives off a really, really nice natural lighting and I'm really glad that I purchased these. If you're interested in these lights, I'll leave them in the description box down below. I'll also leave you a link to the lights that I tried out before that just simply didn't work for me just so you can avoid that mistake of purchasing those. 